Hi guys, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. How are you? Happy Monday. It is a bright Monday morning. Yeah, <laughs> it will be. <laughs> How is everybody? I hope you had a great weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. I had so much fun with my crafter friends yesterday. Um, ready to start my work week. <laughs> So I told you yesterday that I had all these cute little add-ons um, to go on our little gingerbread houses. I made Christmas trees. I made gingerbread. I have little wreaths. I have lights that go at the top. Um, what else do I have? I Oh, candy canes. So candy canes, trees, gingerbread, wreaths, <laughs> Christmas lights. So five different things to go on here. We're going to paint those. Okay, so we have a lot of little tiny painting to do today, but it will actually go pretty quickly. So um, we made the houses when the transfer first came out. So I base coated these with our our honey, um, honey, honey brown. Yeah, let me look. <laughs> um, honey brown. Yes. So I base coated them with honey brown. I used the transfer, used um, shimmer, shimmer frost, and now it is time to. Do our little decorations on him okay so um I think it's gonna be really cute I think it's gonna work out really nicely I hope okay so I I kind of I fit it on there I think it's gonna work the only thing that I that might be a problem is <clears throat> when they're hinged together so I'm actually gonna have to hinge them together to um to see if anything's gonna hit i don't think it's going to i think it's gonna be okay i just can't i gotta make sure when i put things on there that i don't put it past the edge okay so um help me remember don't put anything past the edge because they do hinge together okay so all of them all of them hinge together to make one great big gingerbread house display okay so it can be tricky to get all these together you just kind of have to fiddle with them and figure out which way do you want them to be okay so um obviously you have two ends that don't have the metal part and then you just have to fit everything else in between okay so yeah isn't that fun this is gonna be so much fun i hope it works out <laughs> And then I'm going to be on later today again. I'm going to be on the CCC with um, all of that group. So I'll be coming on again with a really fun project. I hope you like that. It's um, it's going to be um, the the paper, you know, the paper printout that we use. There's a really, really cute one that I have that I'm going to do. I hope everybody else on there isn't doing the same one. I kind of suspect there's going to be several people using the same ones. Um, we had to choose from... Um, a certain artist and I have my favorite I'm sure others probably have their favorite it might be the same so we'll see how that goes today I am on there at 11 o'clock pacific time that's um 12 that's noon um mountain time one o'clock central two o'clock eastern time so I'll be I'll be notifying you guys again you'll be seeing a notification that I'm on here again <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be for an hour. So um, it's kind of unusual that I'm on during the day. It wasn't something that I planned, but it is going to work out just fine. Um, it will, even on a Monday. <laughs> so how is everybody? Just um, say hello. If you're out there watching, just say hello so I know you're watching. And let me go ahead and get this shared over to VIP. Turn my volume down. Um, how was your weekend? Um, what fun things did you do? <laughs> let me make sure I'm here. Um, sometimes oh, I just got my notification. So sometimes um, Facebook is slow letting people know that, hey, um, Darlene is live. So if you're just getting your notification, that is a-okay. Um, okay, she got it shared to VIP. And then let me just go ahead and do this. There's a few of you guys on here. <laughs> Hi, Betty. How are you? Hi, Mary Lee. Hi, Pam. Hi, Tony. Hi, Sarah. Um, do all the add-ons come with yesterday's kits? Yes, all of these come with yesterday's kits. So that's what, that's why I told I told you guys yesterday I didn't have time to do everything in one day because it's a lot. So um, this is what we made yesterday. For those that weren't on, we made this cute pillow. It's so cute. So you have to get your own pillowcase 
because I just can't. Um, you know, it didn't make sense for me to buy them and not know how many. Um, I put the link there for you guys. I'll put the link again on just, um, I'll just put it on there so it's easy for you guys to find. But I need to put a pillow form in here. I didn't have time. I literally was running out the door right after I got my transfers washed yesterday. <laughs> and heading out the door so hi Karen Ross I'll have those separate too I'll have the add-on separate and I need to see if they will also work on the firehouse one because I know many of you have the other one there was two sets of the gingerbread this is the firehouse sorry this is fire on the um schoolhouse a book house book house there, there's another one that is the book house that one sold out like right away um but a lot of you guys have that one i have that one i haven't checked yet to see if they fit the same um i will take a look at that and see i kind of think they probably are the houses are probably really similar shaped and they probably will fit exactly the same but um anyways we'll figure it out so that if you want to if you have both then you can just get two of these little kits to do the add-ons so hi karen ross hi carrie hi cheryl hi bridget hi april hi doris my sister happy monday happy new week um hi laura hi cheryl <laughs> this scrolled up really fast good morning tina thanks for sprinkling hi denise hi deborah Hi, Linda Lou. Um, oh, Sarah celebrated your grandson's second birthday this weekend. Got home yesterday afternoon. Oh, I bet you are tired. I would be tired too. So yes, you'll be able to um, order just the add-ons. I will post that. I want to take a picture. So I didn't get it posted yesterday, but I will. Um, and I also want to check and see if it goes on the other set. Okay, so... And um, I may have actually found some of the other transfers, just a couple. Um, I was searching through things. I'm like, oh, I think these are the other transfers. So I may have a couple of the other kit for you. Um, I think there's five. So <laughs> please don't send me messages yet. Let me make sure. Um, I, may, I need to make sure I have the cutouts to go with it. So um, hi, Janine. Thanks, Laura. Oh yeah, I love the pillowcase. It turned out really cute. Um, you didn't get the kit. Um, oh, that's okay. You don't have to have everything. <laughs> let me let me tell you. There's many things that I didn't get too. I just kind I couldn't get everything. I tried. I tried to do it, but I couldn't do everything. So hi Wanda. Hi Cindy. How are you? Good morning. Twenty eight degrees in Kentucky. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder how cold it is here. It's been getting down in the thirties. Let me see how cold it is outside here in sunny California. Um, it usually is no. Oh, it's forty eight degrees right now. Forty eight degrees. That's not cold. <laughs> That's not cold yet. Okay, let me put you down to the project here. Um, okay, get it. Yes. Um, all right. So I will get with you after this. <laughs> all right, Wanda. I I will um I will get with you after this. I think there might be some messages I missed yesterday. I tried to get back to everybody. If you didn't, if you private messaged me. I tried really hard last night to get through everything. I I might have missed something. So if you sent me a message yesterday, I was at the party for a long time. <laughs> we were having so much fun. Look at all these cute things. So so let me just kind of show you how this is going to go. Let me just go in a little bit closer so you can kind of see how one of these is going to go. So the, the what you'll want to do after you paint these is you'll want to sit and you'll want to figure out what which ones go on which. Okay, because like there's there's the lights they are going to go on like that, but we're going to paint them. <laughs> and then if you want to put a ginger gingerbreads on this one, you can put gingerbreads. OK, if you want to put a Christmas tree, I, I, I'm not sure if all of them have something. And then there's wreaths. OK, so there's the little wreaths. Look at how cute this is. So um, we're going to paint all these and it'll look really different after they're painted. <laughs> all right. So. Okay, like I said, I am going to be on later today. Um, so I will post that. I didn't post that yet. Um, where did I get the brown pillowcase? That is from Amazon. And I put the link in there yesterday. So in yesterday's um, thing. But I'll post it separately. Okay, so let me move all of my little, little houses. I never did go and do the other side. I might do these for Easter. So wouldn't that be cute for Easter? I could do that. I just never got around to doing the other side. Okay, so I have all these tiny little pieces. Let me do this. I need to bring in a board. 
I think I can get away with a small board. Let me see if I, uh, and I actually want a board that um, has been used a little bit. I don't want to put all those teeny tiny pieces that are fragile onto tape that is brand new. Okay, so these are very fragile. I actually had to recut one of them because I broke a light bulb. I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do them so that they're like, there's two, four, six light bulbs on that one, um, two, four, six on that one. I'm trying to put them, group them together because they, they go together in sizes. And when they're on the Christmas tree, you want the colors to be different, like a pattern, two, four, five, two, four, five. Okay, <laughs> do you see what I'm doing? Okay, well, we can put all of our Christmas trees over here, all our gingerbreads. Let's just group everything together that we can. So there's gingerbreads, there's trees, there's candy canes, there's a variety of things, okay? <laughs> And there's, um, yeah, there's the candy canes. They're tiny. There's cute little wreaths that go on each one. And then there's a little bow that goes on each wreath. So, guys, I haven't done one of these. So, we'll, we'll see. I hope it all works out. <laughs> In my head, it works out, you know. Um, sometimes I just envision things and, like, I think it's going to work out. I think it is. I think it is. Okay, this one has, has two and two. Dos, oh, no, trace, trace. <laughs> Darlene, can you count? Maybe, maybe I can count. Okay, and these have uh, four each. No, two, four, five, I can't count, darn it. Okay, five, five, okay, so just be careful with them. And then these have five, two, four, five, two, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> and then these have each have two, four, six. Okay, so and if you can see, I'm kind of putting them so that and in the way that they would go on there. Okay, so anyways, oh, I need gray because we're we're gonna we're gonna base coat those gray first, and then we will. Oh, and you know what? That's kind of watered down. It'll be okay. Hi, Deb. How are you? two two days oh two weeks from christmas can you move the board oh i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make it smaller yeah so i'm i'm gonna do it like that so you can see the whole thing there you go um oh thank you thank you sarah thank you thank you for set for putting that there uh i appreciate it <coughs> all right so what i'm gonna do because the string part is going to be gray I'm going to do that first. Okay, so let's do all of our gray and then we'll go back and we'll do all of our colors. We're going to need more than one dish because we have lots of different colors. And you know what? I'm going to use this for my gray. My gray is actually watered down, but it's okay. I can use it. Man, can you believe it? Two weeks from today, it's Christmas. Holy cow. <laughs> it got here so quickly this year, guys. I feel like it's early. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else feel like it cannot be Christmas yet? Two weeks. Um, but you know what? I'm almost ready. I just need to get some of my Christmas decorations down from the attic. Um, that will happen probably tonight. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I have to move a bunch of stuff. I actually have um, shipping shipping boxes stored up there because what happens to us guys we order our chipping boxes free from the post office but there are times when we can't get them quickly because it gets busy this time of year so we store extra up in the attic in the garage and so i need to move those i need to move them and did you know this okay so did you know that they're free However, you can pay to get them quickly. I had to do that for the for the um, little padded envelopes that we use with our picture frames. I needed to get them here quickly, so I actually paid to get them expedited and have them um, sent to my house um, within three days. And they actually got there within one day. <laughs> but you can actually pay to have the, sh the free shipping boxes sent to you early. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but hey I'm gonna put myself up in the corner let me just um let me just get this painted and then let me put myself in the corner go to the corner Darlene okay I will <laughs> I will I'll go to the corner all right let me do that 
Sorry guys, sometimes, sometimes I just don't know. There we go. Hi guys, hi. <laughs> all right, okay, so let me do this. Um, I don't wanna waste all that paint. Let me put some back in here. This gray is slate gray. And I use this instead of silver. I just feel like it looked, for me, it looks better. I don't like to use a silver for this part for some reason, I just never do. If you want to, you can. I just always use slate gray um, because it, you know, it's, it's a good color. It covers up really easily. Okay, so the silver, not as much because it's kind of glossy. Okay, I need to get a paper towel for all of my brushes. Let me do that and put it somewhere. There we go. There's a place. <laughs> okay, so um, I'll just let that let that be drying on its own. Let me make sure I got everything. I think I did. Okay, and then let's let's start with our trees. And okay, so we have to do our trees and our little um, wreaths are green. And then we'll kind of um, pounce on some of the lighter color green. So the green we're going to use is leaf green. All right, let's put some in here. We'll need some for our Christmas lights. So we're just gonna put some in here. There's our, for our leaf green for our Christmas trees. Okay, so Christmas trees. If you wanna put like light bulbs on these trees, you could, I, I might do that. I might just put some red um, bulbs on there, maybe red and white. What do you think? Oh, and I'm gonna need brown for the bottom part. I'm not thinking this whole thing out. <laughs> I was like, what colors do I need to quickly grab? It's actually gonna paint up pretty quickly. So the longest part will be doing all the pattern of all of those and it will I, it will be fine. Okay, so the wreaths are also green. So leaf green first, and then we'll get a little pouncer thing. We'll pounce on some of the other color and we might just go back and forth on there. I just wanna get like a pattern kind of like a I don't know. So so there's more than one color. <laughs> okay, we'll want to do all our candy canes in white and then we'll go back and do our stripes. We'll probably use our stylus to do that because those stripes are really tiny and it will be easier to do it with the stylus. Okay, so the bows are red. So we'll get that painted. Yeah, it's always good to sort things. Okay, so and the these boards, I just take the tape and turn the ends under. So I just turn the ends under and then I, I roll up a piece of tape in the center. This is just a piece of cardboard, nothing fancy, nothing fancy at all. <laughs> all right, so here we go. There's our little bows. Oh my goodness. You guys, it just, there's nothing like getting together with your friends and laughing and having a great time and just relaxing. It just was so, it was such a needed thing to do that yesterday. I'm so happy that I get to do that just a couple times a year. <laughs> a couple times a year I get to get away and spend some time with my friends that I have known my crafter friends for so long. I know I've told you guys this, but over 30 years, some of them go back 35 years um, since I first, first started doing craft shows. Um, one of them, Blenda, she's like, she was at my second craft show that I did. Um, well, no, I'm gonna say my second craft show that I did in a house. So for a long time, people had craft shows in their houses here. Um, do, you, do people have craft shows in their houses where you guys are? Or are your craft shows always held like at a school or a church or uh, an event center? So for a long time, people were having craft shows in their houses here. And I, I my very first one that I did, I was so worried, I was like, how do I do this? I take my stuff to this person's house. Are they just going to steal all my stuff? <laughs> I wasn't very trusting in the beginning. Um, your boards don't stay as clean. You know, this board is fairly new. <laughs> my other board is not clean at all. This this board, my big board, my big board's not clean at all. Look at my big board. My big board has every color in the world. <laughs> That's my big board. My big board is actually probably 10 or 11 years old and has painted thousands of projects. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Oh, 
Let me see. Some some in houses. Some in houses. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes you know people don't understand the concept of having a craft show in a house. <laughs> So I was used to having a lot of craft shows in the houses and I moved to New Mexico and so I decided oh, I have this I have this really pretty house that I never had a big house and um, I was out, way out in the desert. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about having a craft show. Um, but I decided I'm going to have a craft show and I put out really good signs because I was always really good about doing signs for garage sales and getting people to my garage sales. So I knew where to lead them from and I would put out dozens and dozens of signs. So I decided, well, I'm going to get a couple of vendors and I'm going to do a small show in my home and <laughs> maybe three people came the first time. Maybe three people. That, it, it was like, it was kind of sad. It was kind of sad. Um, they didn't really get the concept of, of craft shows in your house over there. <laughs> They're like, you're going to open up your house and let people, the strangers, go through your house? <laughs> well, that's what we do sometimes. Yeah. So it didn't really, didn't really go over in New Mexico. <laughs> I tried it, though. I tried. Now, all the shows that I do are in churches or a community center, event center, that type of thing. Which is, it's easier because you don't have to move all your stuff. Some neighborhoods here do shows. Anyone that has any kind of small business sets up. Oh, that's neat. In the community room and they haven't opened. Oh, how fun. That sounds like fun. Did I um, did I sell out of this kit? No, um, I don't think so. I I need to count. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can look and see. I last as of last night, I think I had two more of this kit. Let me see if I can actually um, actually see if I have any kits left by just looking really quickly. Um, how many did I have to begin with? Not everybody commented that they bought one. That's the problem that I'm having is that people need to say that they bought one and not everybody's doing that. So I had 10 kids and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, so, so yes, there are still a couple left, but I think that one person didn't come. I think there's two left. Um, I think that one person did not comment. So, um, two of those left with this, with the transfer. So here is the difference is that I have, I have a lot of the, I have a lot of the, the gingerbread house transfer. I have a lot of, I'm going to, this is dry. I'm going to set it on here. I have a lot of the gingerbread house transfer, but I only had 10 of this transfer. So, so I do have a lot of extra of the gingerbread transfer. This transfer, I only had enough to make 10 kits. So, and I do have extra houses if anybody needs extra houses. So, um, all the shows, um, do them in community centers. Um, Kat says you'd be afraid to open your house today. Not the same. I, th I agree with you. It is not the same world that it was. Not the same. Okay, let's start with our lights and then we'll go down. Um, we'll just work down. Okay, so let me stand up and we'll start with the lights. So we, so we usually do like red, yellow, blue, green, orange. Okay, so let me just get my stuff out here. I've read we do a little bit more we're going to use our stylus to do this because it'll be easier to just pick up some paint and hopefully not make a mess and then blue and we'll need some orange okay so we want our little pattern here okay so so the reason i set them up in pairs is because that's how they're going to go on to the, the houses i'm going to put this up here scooch things down i have my stylus and then I'm just going to pick up some paint with the with the stylus and I'm going to paint it like that and see how quickly that paints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go red. Okay, so actually there's there's five colors. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one's red also. Okay, does that make sense what I'm doing? I might have to dry it. Oh, you know what? Let's do one row at a time because I'll be dragging my hand in it. And then one, two, three, four. Um, okay, so this one's red also. So red, one, two, three, four, and then five. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
One, two, three, four. Yep, perfect. Okay, so one, two, three, this one. Okay, so I'm just trying to do my pattern here so that when I put it onto the houses, it looks right. Okay, so start with red. So there's there's five colors. So one, two, three, four blank ones. Same pattern as the other side. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll do the top row because otherwise I'm dragging my hand over it. This part is going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so then let's do yellows next. So now it's easy because you know what comes after after this. So yellows next. And I'm just using a stylus. A stylus works great to do this. You could use a tiny brush, but then you're going to have to have five of those tiny brushes. With a stylus, all you're going to do is you are going to just wipe it off. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just painting with it. <laughs> and some of them are a little bit thick, but it's okay. It will be fine. When it all is said and done, um, it will be just fine. Hopefully my pattern works out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if I'm messing it up at all. Okay, then we're going to do, let's do blue next. Blue will be next. Top right light is upside down. Um, top right light is upside down. It's supposed to be like that. Yeah, it has to, be, it's supposed to be like that. Um, okay, so... Yeah, some of them are some of them are up and some of them are down. So yeah, it it it's fine when it goes on. Um, it will be fine. <laughs> but I I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um. Well, some of them are up and some of them are down. I I did do all of them like that. I yeah. It will it will be fine on there though because it kind of it'll just flow with the roof line. So if you want to make sure that they are all. Um, going in the same direction. I probably should have done that, but it will be fine. I understand now what you're saying. Okay, blue. So this part, actually, it doesn't take that long, but just make sure you're just doing one row at a time because otherwise, look at my hands right on top of everything. So um, you definitely, oops, <laughs> oops don't, don't dip in the wrong color, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> Oopsie, oopsie. Um, just make sure you're dipping in the right color, okay? Okay, next color will be green. All right, I know this is the boring part. Watching Darlene paint. Okay. <laughs> I love this, though. I love I love just doing little add-ons like this. We did add-ons. Well, there was the little Christmas houses last year, and I had all the little add-ons, and I did it retro. It looked so darn cute when it was all done. I am not sure what happened to all of those things. I need to look for them. I don't think I got rid of mine. I, I That was one of the things that I really liked last year. I think I saved all of those. Okay, orange is next. This is, These are going to look super cute on there, though. It's going to dress it up. It's going to change those plain gingerbread houses into fancy little houses. And just look at these, look at these light bulbs already. All these little Christmas lights already are looking so fancy. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're looking so darn cute. All right. Okay, next row. Next row. I know it does. Look at it. It just comes to life. Yeah. Yeah. So once I put them on there, it's going to be even, even better. Okay, so red again. So remember, there's five colors. So there's five on here, so there's going to be, and then five here. <laughs> I just have to make sure I'm not dripping it onto, onto the next one. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that. Okay, all right. So this one's going to go faster because there's less light bulbs. So yellow is my next color. Yep. Monday. <laughs> I um 
I have a lot to do today and I'm having a small issue with one of the lasers so I have to call tech support this morning that's always a joy I'm on there for over an hour on hold usually because especially on a Monday um, yeah, so one of the lasers is down I would I got caught up on all my orders that I needed to cut out though so that um, Tara can just run her laser and do all of the cutouts that she needs to do today so I got all of my picture frames all done last night. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, it's always a lot of work, but um, I am always so grateful for how busy we are. Even when it's chaotic like that, I am grateful for the chaos. Because sometimes, sometimes you just have to be grateful, right? I mean, I, I honestly, I always say, I, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have some chaos in my life. <laughs> I think, I always say, I thrive on chaos. I, honestly, it's, it's the truth. Um, I really do do well with a lot of stress um, and being busy all the time. I am so used to being busy all the time that it's really hard for me to do nothing. <laughs> When when we, when I go on vacation, it's really hard for me to just sit on a beach for longer than two hours. It's like, okay, now what are we going to do? I always want to be doing something. I'm just like, go, go, go. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I will ever um, change or if that's just going to be my way, you know, into my 90s <laughs> as we get older. So at my, at my craft crafters luncheon we were talking and and they're like you're just the baby I am I'm the baby there so I'll be 60 next year I'm the youngest one um yeah there's a lot of them that are in their 70s um there's most of them are are 60 something <laughs> but there's there's a few that are in their 70s and I'm like okay um, I'll get there someday, but I'm always going to be younger than you. I'm always going to be the baby in this group. <laughs> it's kind of kind of fun. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? Um, can you order just the add-ons? Yes. Yes, you can order just the add-ons. I will be, um, I, yes, um, I will be adding that, but I wanted to take a picture. So, um, the fire firehouse and gingerbread transfers are different shapes yes they are they're different shapes but i didn't know if the same stuff would fit on them so I'm, i need to try that so i wasn't sure if the same um you know amount of lights would fit on there because it's possible that the same same amount of lights might fit on there um because they're they're different shapes but i haven't tried to see will these lights Act, do, or am I going to have to do a different set of lights? Like do do more of the big ones or more of the small ones? So I haven't, I just haven't looked yet. I didn't pull out that, that set. <laughs> it's still on my shelf. <laughs> so, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. All right. Okay, so I'm um, almost done with all of these. And then we'll go on to the trees. We'll just give, we got to do the tree, um, the tree trunk, and then let's give it some light bulbs. We'll just work down the page so that we're not dragging our hand, my hand. <laughs> we're not dragging my hand into things because being left-handed, um, I tend to do that. I tend to put my hand into things. Okay, so we're just painting our light bulbs. <laughs> if you're out there watching, just say hello. Tell me how your day is going. How, how cold or how warm is it? So, yeah, yeah, it definitely will be selling um, all the little things to go with it. And I just need to have time to post that. I, I took a picture of them by themselves. So I have the raw photo of them unpainted. But what I needed to do was I want to get them on the houses so that you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> so you, because otherwise you're just using your imagination and sometimes people can't do that. They're like, well, there's all these little cutouts. What do I do with them? I wanted to show you the finished product. And I also needed time because <laughs> I wasn't here. I was, I was gone to my, I was gone to my little party. So yeah, it's, it's always, it's always fun to get together with friends, isn't it? I don't do it often enough. I, 
you know, sometimes being a business owner, um, be, being self-employed, you really just have to stay focused. And sometimes I am way too focused. <laughs> way too focused. Okay, we're almost there. Almost. We need to do orange and then we'll do our tree trunk. And we'll put, should I do red and white? Um, little red and white light bulbs on the Christmas tree? Little dots. I could do that. I think that would be super cute. Super cute. And I just wanted to let you guys know, um, some of you guys probably already heard, but the sale that I had last week, we raised just over $1,000. And so I'm going to take $1,000 and that's going to go to Watts of Love. Um, I said all of it would, but I'm just, it's going to be easier for me to just say, okay, $1,000 is going to Watts of Love and that will buy 20 solar lights. So um, 20 solar lights will be going to families. Um, you guys buying all of this stuff that you bought for me will help 20 families. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? And it helps an average of seven people each solar light does. Okay, here's some brown. I'm going to use dark chocolate. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. I paint a lot with my, with my stylus. I don't grab a little brush. I'll just paint a lot with the stylus. So do the tree trunk with the stylus. Um, and then we'll do the little, little light bulbs on there. And then I'm going to dry because I need to start drying all the light bulbs up at the top. And, um, but let me get some little light bulbs on here. I think that white and red would be good. Um, right, it's cold in Georgia. Oh, <laughs> I've heard some places it's really cold. Idaho, when I, when I talked to my sister yesterday, it's been super cold in Idaho. She was saying it was, it was trying to snow. She was over, I called to talk to my dad and, and he was in the shower. So I talked to my sister instead. And that was kind of fun. Okay, so... I'm going to do some red and white. <laughs> red and white. Yeah, it's awesome that we raised that much. I'm I'm really pleased with that. And that was just me taking everything that I that I had left over from my craft show and selling it to you guys. <laughs> and you guys purchasing all all the fun little things. So, I'm really happy that we're able to do that. And we're able to help so many families. Um those those families are going to be forever grateful for getting a solar light and being able to use that. And it doesn't just give them light. Remember, those of you that are new, the Watts of Love program, um, those lights, okay, I'm going to do white. So we're going to do white, little white. Um, the lights help them raise out of poverty. So for every light that they get, so each family gets one, and then they don't have to buy candles or batteries or kerosene to light their their little hut at night they're able to use that money to purchase a chicken and then they're able to sell the eggs and they're able to get a um, a goat and they're able to get a cow or a tin roof or they're able to pay for for education for their children it's just goes on and on and on so um or education for them to go to college okay let's dry this a little bit let's try to get some of these dry I know they're going to take a while to dry because it's pretty thick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit now. And then I will do more. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to have it bubble up on me. So I'm trying to be careful and I'm trying to move my, my heat gun. But some of these are really thick. <laughs> okay, that's enough for now. And then we'll go back. It's 40 in East Texas. Oh, burr. That's a little cold. Okay, I have my gingerbreads. So we need to do eyeballs. We need to do cheekies. And we need to do some frosting. So I usually will take them off of there because it's easier to do that. So let me do that. Let me just take, let me take them off. And I'm just going to move that. I'm going to slide this up. And I'm going to do my gingerbreads. Let me see if I can go in a little bit closer for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I need some black, I need white, I need red. Okay, so let me just get this over here. I can put some black, the one that had brown in there. Um, I'm not using that one anymore. Let's just put, I just need a little bit of black for the eyeballs. Okay, so I'm going to use my stylus once again. And... I am going to do eyeballs first, 
just teeny teeny tiny eyeballs and I also need to do the mouth okay so I need to grab my my little marker and um, and do the mouth I should have done that before the eyeballs I usually do that first you usually do that first okay so let me grab a marker I'm gonna do the the little smile It's easier to do it with a marker than with a liner brush or anything like that. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna do little cheekies, little hearts for the cheeks. Um, make sure you wipe your little stylus. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm gonna do little teeny tiny hearts. They're just tiny. They're just tiny, so use the tiny end of your stylus to make little hearts. Uh, they're very small. And then we're going to do big hearts on the belly. But let's let's do the frosting first. It'll be easier to hold on to this um, if I do the frosting first, and then I'll do the hearts. So these are just teeny, tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny hearts. So dot, dot, and then you join it together, um, and that makes the heart. So they're called dip dot hearts, so they're dot, dot, and then... You join it together okay and then I'm gonna do some frosting <laughs> can you even see what I'm doing I mean they're tiny they it's it's hard because they don't show up as much on my dirty little thing okay I had and some white so I'm gonna do frosting at the top there's just like a little loopy loop of frosting right there and then he's gonna have frosting on his arms and I'm just gonna use my stylus to do that and I'm gonna have to dip it twice because once is not gonna do it for each one. And just kind of go back and forth. Okay, these are small. Make sure you're just holding it in the center so that it's not moving on you. And I'm just kind of wiggling the stylus up and down across there, just kind of doing a little pattern there. And then we'll do hearts in the center, okay? so. So it's tiny, these are tiny, but they need to be, okay? So I know you're gonna say, I can't do that. Yes, you can. You can use a marker too. If you have if you have your little white paint marker, you could use your white paint marker on this. It would probably work just fine, okay? So I just wanna show you how to use the stylus with the white paint. It works out really well, okay? So if you just hopped on, um, I will be on again today i'm doing a collaboration with the ccc there uh, uh, if you ask me what it all stands for i always forget um creative craft collaboration something like that um i will be on at 11 o'clock my time which is um noon mountain time um one central time and two o'clock Eastern time. So I'll be on again for another project that will take about an hour. So I'd love it if you would join me. Um, there's gonna be a lot of people on uh, from all over the place. So sometimes during the day, it's better for some people um, because you know, for me right now is 7.20 in the morning. So that's still early for a lot of people. It's still early. A lot of people catch the replay on my on mine. <laughs> <laughs> let me go back and let me just make sure I'm still live. I like to have that up on my screen. There we go. Okay. And plus then I can see if that, if you can see everything. Okay. So I'm doing the little white here and then we'll do hearts in the center. And I just use the stylus for a lot of this stuff. It just is easy for me to just grab my stylus and do the frosting. Um, if you want to use a tiny, tiny liner brush, I did I did order some little liner brushes that are for doing nail art, and I'm going to test them out and see how they do, because I saw somebody using them, and I was like, oh, that might work for some of our stuff um, that they use for doing art on, on um, your fingernails. Okay, let me do some hearts in the center. I'm going to use the other end of the stylus, and we'll do hearts in the center of them, and I'm just going to kind of hold... Actually, I'm, I'm not going to hold very closely. <laughs> I'm going to hold just the side because I don't want to have my hand on anything. Okay, and then I'm going to move it. Okay, so my hearts aren't perfect. It's okay. I don't have to have perfect hearts, I promise. Um, I am not going to cry if my heart doesn't is not 
the same on the top and the bottom. I'm going to try to even it out, but it's okay. I'm fine. And if, and if they're not the same on each one, that's okay. All right. These are handmade. And, and honestly, I would rather somebody see that it's handmade than think that I bought one from China because we put our hearts into all of this stuff. And I like people to be able to see, oh, you know, this one's a little different than that one. Um, this one smiles a little bit different. It, they're all a little bit different. <laughs> we're gonna dry we're gonna dry again after this so we can try to get those light bulbs dry again um, or dry more and also get these hearts to dry because the hearts are thick. So and I'm gonna look and see if there's any questions. If you have questions along the way, um, go ahead and put them in there. There are score lines that show you where to put um, the face and the frosting. There's not score lines for the center hearts. You're just on your own with that. <laughs> Hi, Vicki. How are you? Okay, let me scooch this back down. We need to put some other green onto the wreaths. And then we need to do the stripes on our candy cane. And then we're done. We're ready to start gluing these onto our little houses. So I am just making sure that I am not holding this in one place. I want things to dry. And I don't want them to bubble up. So just kind of move your heat gun or just let it dry on its own. It does take a little bit of time for things like this that are thick to dry. But you know, you can walk away, go do some laundry, do your do your um, dishes, take the dog for a walk around the block. I when we painted ornaments, we never used a heat gun to dry them. We just would go on to the next ornament. Okay, so we're gonna pounce a little bit of color. Let me just grab something. You could use a Q tip if you wanted to. Um, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's just use a Q tip. Hi, Sandy, how are you? Okay, I want a little bit of my other green. So I'm gonna grab my little dish right here. Let's go in so you can see everything. There we go. I'm gonna grab this other color, Hauser Light Green. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit in there and then I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and I'm going to pounce some of the other color on there. Yeah, so I'm just going to, I'm just gonna go like this here and there and just get some of the other color on there. <laughs> and that, then I think we'll put some red berries on there because I think that would be super cute to have little red berries. They're going to have um, the uh, the bow. They're gonna have a bow. Okay, so don't worry that it might look really silly. It's gonna have a red bow on it. It's gonna look fine. We're just gonna, we're gonna put some berries on it here in a second. So, so yeah, I'm just pouncing it with the, with the Q-tip to just get some of the other um, green on there. So we have two different greens and then we're gonna put some red lights. We might need some more red. I, th I think, okay, so there's our green. All I did was use a Q-tip <laughs> to pounce some on there. Let's get some red and um, we're gonna do the candy cane stripes and we're going to do the, um, the little, some little things. Let's dry this really quick. Um, and then we'll do our berries on there. And then we'll do our stripes on our candy cane and we will be done. <laughs> oh, your mom arrives today. How fun. That's going to be a great time. How fun is that? I, I love that. When, when my family used to come visit, it was great. Okay, so I'm going to do um, little red berries of three. Okay, so three in a little thing. Let me see if I can get in closer. So you probably still can't see it, but I'm doing, I'm doing like a trio, a trio of berries. So three little dots together and space it, space it apart. And then we'll have the bow at the bottom, okay? So you don't necessarily have to put the berries all the way around because the bottom part is gonna have the bow on it. And then these are all gonna go onto our gingerbread houses. So we're doing all of the cute little decorations that are gonna go onto the gingerbread houses. And those are the Chocotour ones and that's the kit that I have, um, that I posted yesterday. 
that I have with the um, the other transfer that says, um, what does it say, Jolene? Home for Christmas. <laughs> Home for the holidays. Home for the holidays. So, um, but I do have a lot of the gingerbread house transfers and the gingerbread houses. I need to get an accurate count. I know that I have more than what I posted. I just don't only have a few. I only had 10 of the home for the holidays one. So I, I, I wanted to do that first, do that as a whole set. And then if you just need the, the transfer for the houses and the houses, or you want extra houses, I have those. So if you already have your house transfer and you're like, gee, I really wish that I could make another set, I have extra houses. So just, just let me know what you need. All right. And I'm gonna try to get all of my messages answered. I, re I really do try to get back to everything. It just doesn't always happen. Okay, so I'm going to use my stylus. Once again, I'm going to use my stylus to do the, the candy cane stripes because that's going to be easiest for me. If you have a tiny little liner brush, you can do that. I'm just going to start on one of them on one side and get one whole candy cane done. And then I'll, then I'll go to the other candy cane these are going to be so fun I'm so excited to get this all put together and see how it looks and make sure it actually works <laughs> do you ever have an idea in your head and you're like I sure hope this turns out I sure hope this works because in my head it's super cute and on paper, is it going to work? <laughs> is it going to work on paper? Um, your bundle deal. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, didn't see what you're making. You'll. Um, oh yeah, I'm doing the little houses. Yeah. So I know some of you hopped on after I had showed the houses. It's the gingerbread houses, the ones that are the chocolate tour ones. So these are an add-on so that you can add to your little gingerbread houses and just kind of dress them up. So that's that's what it is. So it's basically like a little dress up package for your for your um, houses. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I got that one done. All right, so move on to the next gingerbread or next uh, my next candy cane. All right. Yeah, using the stylus is the way to go with this. Really, honestly, um, just painting with the stylus on this it's easiest for me. I, I think that it's just too hard to do it with a brush. <laughs> the brush, you'd have to have because this is really small. The house, the houses were are, you know, needed to have small things on them. I couldn't make great big, um, things to go on them. So, so these are tiny, tiny little decorations that are going to go on our house. So basically, we're putting up our, our Christmas lights and our decorations on our houses. And I'll have to lay them flat. I really won't be able to stand them up until it takes about 15 minutes for it to set up. So I don't want to mess them up and have everything start moving on me. All right, so that's the last one. Let's dry this and then let's start getting things glued together. <laughs> These are going to be so cute, guys. I'm so excited. Um, there is sound. Yeah, um, definitely a sound. Did I put the link for this? That was yesterday. I put the link yesterday. Yeah. Um, there were 10 kits available. So, yep, the, I put it there yesterday. If you if you don't have sound, go out and go back in. Um, so that's usually what happens is that sometimes if you make a comment, then your sound goes away. <laughs> I don't know why that happens, but it's happened to me that sometimes if I make a, make a comment that I can't hear and I just have to go out and back in. Okay, these are still not all the way dry up here, but they're getting there. They're, they're dry enough to touch, which is great. Okay, those are pretty dry. These down here, I just need to get them dry enough. I'll just have to be careful with them. <laughs> okay, it's starting to raise up because of the heat. So. Um, so a little bit faster, Darlene. 
And then the hearts on here, those are looking like they're pretty dry. Okay, I think we are ready. I think we're ready to take things off and get everything. Um, what I like to do is I like to lay it on the houses first and make sure that everything is gonna look right when it goes in the right place. So let me just get everything off of here. Let me try to move some of this stuff. <laughs> then I'll bring in the houses. Be really careful with your lights. They can be fragile, okay? So they are thin. If you happen to break one of the lights off, don't worry. You can just glue it onto there, okay? So I'm using tape that's been used before, okay? So I'm making sure that I'm not using brand new tape for this. If you do, you might want to fuzz your tape, if you know what I mean. You might want to just put something on it a couple of times so you don't have brand new tape because these lights can be fragile. Um, I broke one yesterday just pulling it out of the laser and I recut it. Um, but they have to be tiny like that. That's just the way that they work. Um, they wouldn't look good if they were all bulky. All right, let me get the trees off. I have a lot of little things to go on our little houses. I can't wait to do this. Can't wait to, to line everything up. Okay, I'm gonna be really careful with these candy canes because they are still wet. Okay, let's bring in our houses. Let's see what they look like on here. The houses are not reusable. Nope, not at all. Um, nope, the add-ons are going to be available on the website. The add-ons are going to be available on the website. I just haven't put them on there yet because I didn't have time. Let me move some of these guys. Um, let me just move some of my paint out of the way really quickly so I have more room. Yeah, the, ad the add-on part is available um, when as soon as I get it posted. Okay, so let me just scooch these over. And let's do this so we know here's, this is an end. Okay, it doesn't have a hinge. That's an end, and this is an end. Everything else goes in between. And you will just wanna kind of look at it and go, how does it look good together? This is an end. Okay, so an end and an end. They don't have a hinge. Everything else goes in between, okay? So now what you need to do, I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, the houses are wood. The houses are not a reusable surface. Okay, so I'm going to put my lights. So I'm going to start with my smallest ones. Okay, and they just go at the top. Okay, so they just go at the top. So I'm just going to do my small houses first so that I know where everything goes. And I just made it just to go like that. Okay. Um, it might look like it's too big. It's not. It's fine. It's not not too big that goes like that you can overlap them if you want to however you want to do it is absolutely fine and let's see these are the bigger ones these are bigger ones and then oops <laughs> okay so like that okay so there's all your lights <laughs> these are gonna be so cute Okay, I'm going to scooch it up just a little bit so you can see better. And then everybody's going to have a, a wreath. Okay, so some of these are going to have the larger wreath. Actually, I think there's only one larger wreath. Um, okay, so wreath. Um, wreath. Do, wherever you want to put it is fine. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Um, it's totally up to you where you put your wreath. If you want to put it at the top or if you want to put it down at the bottom. Each one's going to have a bow. Okay, so I'm not sure if I like it better at the top like that or maybe it should be down here. I'm thinking down there. Okay, then a bow on each one. And then you have to decide, oh, and let's see, this is the larger bow. That's going to go there. And they're just kind of coming to life. <laughs> you did yours, but you don't like them. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, you just, yeah, they're not, they're not reusable, but you can flip them over and do the other side. Because the other side, the other side, you could actually do the other side. Yeah, for sure. Okay, um, did I have it like that with the gingerbread? I can't remember what I did here. Okay, so tree, let's do big tree, and then a medium tree. Now remember, you can't go off the edge with these. If you go off the edge, then um, you can't fold them. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to end up with extra gingerbread. If I remember correctly, I'm going to end up with extra gingerbread because um, you can only put one on the bakery. So you're going to end up with an extra little guy that you can put somewhere. Okay, um, let's put these here. Oh, maybe he goes over here. Let's see. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to switch this. Yeah, this is what I did. And then this one just has one little gingerbread because it's just so much on there. So much. Okay. And then we're going to start gluing everything. Okay. What do you think? I think, I think that looks cute. Can't wait to see it all done. Um, you know what? I am going to take my gingerbread and I'm going to ink the edges just slightly because they're the same color as the, as the background. Okay. So if I, if I just slightly ink the edges, they will show up a little bit better on here. Yeah, they'll stand out. See, <laughs> so I'm just slightly inking the edges with my little ink pad that I have. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to tell you that if you're using the same background color for your gingerbread houses, you're going to want to do something different on the gingerbread. Aren't these so fun? Okay, now we have to glue everything on. Okay, so <laughs> the gluing part can take a little bit, so be patient with me. Um, if you need to leave, that is absolutely fine. <laughs> you can sand them off. You could sand it off if you wanted to, but you can flip them over too. So you can flip them over and just use the other side. The other side, um, they are the same on one side and the other. So they are equal, if you know what I mean. So they made it so that you can, so that you can um, chalk on both sides. So, okay, let's just start, let's start on this side and work the other direction. I am just going to put my glue on the little light bulbs and that will be enough, I think. Maybe, maybe a little bit on the thing. Don't worry. It will be fine. It will dry clear. <laughs> so, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of gluing now, you know, this, these are going to be adorable. I can't wait to see it just standing up. I think it's going to be so darn cute. Oops, goes the other way, Darlene. Okay, so like I said, you can put your little wreath at the top or the bottom, wherever you think it looks best. I think I think this one um, maybe should be at the top. I think this one should be at the top because I have the little gingerbreads at the bottom. So I'll put this one at the top and then some of them will be at the bottom. How fun is this? Make sure you're not going over the edges because these do hinge together. And you don't want to have it go over the edge. You need to go right to the edge, okay? Don't jump, don't jump off the edge. <laughs> so this is just something different. If you want to dress up your little gingerbread houses, a lot of you have already made your houses, so you don't need to buy, buy new ones. But if you just need the add-ons, I will be posting that. I just wanted to make sure that it worked and to take the pictures. It's always good to make sure it works, right? So I can tweak it in if I need to. Sometimes you gotta do that. Sometimes there's some tweaking to do. <laughs> so, sometimes, sometimes the ideas in my head don't always equal what they come out on paper. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, you know. I mean, you try, you try. And it's okay, that light might have been better the other way around, it's okay. We're not going to sweat the small stuff, guys. And it's all small stuff, right? It is all small stuff. <laughs> We're just going to have fun with it. That That's the whole thing. If you have fun with your project, then nothing else matters. Don't let someone tell you it should have been this way or that way. Um, it needs to be the way that you want it to be, honestly. It needs to be the way that Darlene wants it. It needs to be the way that Sarah wants it. It needs to be the way that Susie wants it. Um, honestly, guys, don't let others tell you how to do your creations. Okay? So if somebody wants it for an order, that's absolutely fine. They can tell you those things. But if they're just, they're your friend and they go, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. They need to keep their mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, because a lot of times, um, you know, you're, you're the artist, you're going to make those decisions. All right. Don't let people dictate to you how you should have done this, how you should have done that. All right. Because just enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. 
because you know what we only go around this world once right we never know when it is our time to to leave this world so hey let's make it a good one let's make it a good one oh my goodness these are so darn cute i had thought about putting some of the little um wreaths on here that are the the little ones that actually look like a wreath wreath um i ordered them they haven't come yet but i'll use them for another project I, last night I was like, no, I just need to, or yesterday, I just need to do it all wood because then it's easier for people. I, I like the wood look. I think that it's a good thing. Um, okay, I'm almost there. And I'll look at comments, sorry. I am on a roll. So if you're asking a question, I will have to answer it in un momento. I just need to get these guys done. <laughs> Let me just get all these guys done. And if you're telling me that I did something wrong, um, I probably did. I probably did. But that's okay. You know, you get to decide how you do it. Like I like I said, if mine's upside down, that's okay. Because maybe it's that way on purpose. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, there's that one. We're almost done. Almost. These are so darn cute, guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait to stand that up. Stand them up after they are all the way dry. I will stand them up and I'll take pictures and I'll get this posted onto the website. And I'm going to go back. I need to make sure that nothing is overlapping the sides um, for, and even this, because you make sure that you don't have the lights going next to another one that's going to be right next to it and have it over the edge. Okay, so if it's the same height, that makes a difference. There we go. What do you guys think? I think it's so darn cute. I love it. Love, love, love it. Did you glue the ginger on the fall on that? I didn't. Thank you. <laughs> I did not. Thank you. Thank you. All the small stuff. Thank you, guys. I love it. It is so fun. I, di I didn't do it. There we go. Thank you for letting me know. I would have lifted it up. And let me do this. Let me lift up each one and make sure that nothing's going to fall off. Because I <laughs> did I miss anything else? You never know, guys. You never know. Aren't they so cute? If you love it, give me some hearts. I would love some hearts from you guys. Okay, I think I got everything else. And you can move stuff around however you however you need to. <laughs> yes, yes, I think they're so cute. Um, I will wait and I'll see if they'll work on the other one or if I have to modify the lights at all. I might have to modify the lights just a little bit. We'll see how that goes. But, um... Yeah, it's looking good. I, I'm going to see. Let me see how this will go together. Is that going to work? Um, see, this is the reason why you got to be careful because where that joins, sometimes it might catch that light bulb. So just be careful where you're putting them together. All right, guys. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> We're done. Yay. That was a fun project. There's a lot of painting on that. I'll be back in uh, later today because I do have my little thing that I need to do. That's at 11 o'clock. It's almost 8 o'clock. That's in three hours. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> so it'll be a fun project. You will love it. Okay, let me put you up to myself. And I'm not going to turn them around. Usually I will turn them around and stand it up. I don't want things to move. So sorry, but... Um, I'm not going to do that. I'll do it with one and just show you. I just think they're so cute. They are just so darn cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a really good one. I'm excited about it. Okay, so I'll let it dry and then I'll take a picture. I'll get it posted. I'll post it on here. I'll post the links for the add-ons if you just need the add-ons. If you have your houses and everything already, you don't have to buy everything else. Um, but you might want to, because I do have a really good deal on the kit. I think there's two left. There might only be one left now, because I'm sure that people hopped over there. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I will see you a little bit later. Bye.